Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Love Your Vibe. <laughs> I was about to say the actor's area, but it is Love Your Vibe. Um, I'm your host, Sean Grant. So happy to have you here with me. As always, I know I say that, but I truly mean it because consciousness is um, something that is so very important um, that we always need to be on top of it. I've always felt like um, consciousness is something that should be just as important as eating, as brushing our teeth, as bathing. You got to keep doing it every single day. And it's so very important to, as the Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, but also um, checking, checking in with your soul all the time. And that's what this is all about. Um, that's what this is all about because in, in checking with your soul, your soul is always going to give you direction. Your soul is always going to ensure that you are in a place that your highest good is unfolding, not only for you, but for everybody else. And if that sounds familiar, it is because the soul is completely tied into love. If you listen back a couple of episodes ago, we had the concept, the conversation about how um, love is always looking for your highest good, right? And so your soul is tied in that, you know, and it's important to know that as long as you're tied into love, the idea of you living the very best life that you can is inevitably going to be a reality, okay? So we're talking about asking your soul for direction in life. And that's what this comes down to. Asking your soul for direction in life. And what do we mean by that? Well, a lot of times we find, out, find ourselves stuck um, and unable to really figure out what direction to go. Um, and so with that being said, it's almost like it can, it can hinder you from feeling like you're progressing forward. But a lot of times, you know, what takes place is your soul your soul is asking you to blossom where you are planted. Your, your soul is asking you to stay put and be patient enough to wait until a lesson is revealed, a lesson that's going to help you become more of who your soul desires you to be. And that will be your answer. See, oftentimes, um, oftentimes we think that we have to move from the place we're in, when in actuality, it's exactly right where we need to be. Once again, biblical scripture, be still and know that I am God. What that means is be still and recognize the law of creative mind has you in this space for a divine reason. And it's going to allow you to be the best that you can until it's time to go. Now, that isn't always the easiest thing to not only grass, but it's not always the easiest thing to accept, you know, because a lot of times we get into a position where we're like, we want to move forward. We want to charge forward. Like we're on the horses and we're just like making it happen. And everything is just manifesting like, like crazy. And, you know, things are great and yada, 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 but it doesn't always go like that. Right. We always have to be open. The one thing the soul asks of you, it will take care of everything that you need in this life, but it asks you to be open. And this can sometimes come in a way that is so unexpected and so like seemingly volatile. Because, you know, for the longest time I've been saying, you know, dearest God in me, please reveal to me, please lead me, guide me wherever my soul desires to take me that is in my highest good in the entire day would just absolutely go out of control 
And it wouldn't be until like a couple hours in that I realized that my soul was actually wanting me to be in a position to where all this stuff was happening because there was a deep lesson that I had to learn in order to progress. Okay, so just all I'm saying is just be ready for anything, right? Be ready for anything when you ask your soul for guidance. But just know, one, that you're never going to get any more than you can handle. And two, a solution has already been created even before the problem gets underway because that's how the divine works. It can see the beginning, the middle, and the end, <coughs> excuse me, simultaneously. And it is, <coughs> excuse me, whew, it can see all those areas and it knows what direction that you need to go into. Okay? So we're looking at this from a spiritual standpoint, but let's just. Let's figure it out from a practical standpoint. How does this apply to you if you're in a practical situation and you're trying to find out what's the best option for you? Well, honestly, you are never denied guidance. All of your prayers that you ask are answered, whether you're an atheist or a Christian or a non-denominational person, whatever it is. Unlimited wisdom, all your prayers are answered. All you have to do is take a moment to ask. So just how I said that prayer right now, it's as simple as asking, what would my soul do in this situation that is in my highest good, right? What would my soul do in this situation that is in my highest good? And it's not just this situation. It's all situations you can use this in. Every single one, no matter what it is, something as simple as going to Trader Joe's or going to Whole Foods, you can ask your soul what's in your highest good, right? Because the value in this is, once again, the soul is divine. The soul can see what is unfolding down the road that would make a smoother transition for you if that's the highest possibility. So oftentimes, it may come as something completely illogical, but it makes sense from where your soul and the divine are viewing it from. You see what I'm saying? Like, I guess let me give you an example. It would be like you were driving from Miami to Los Angeles, and let's say you got to uh, Texas, and all of a sudden your soul literally told you you have to stay the night in Texas. It's of, of imminent importance for you to get a hotel and just stay the night and not keep driving. And you're like, okay, well, what's really going on? But then you say, you know what? I'm going to follow what my soul says, and then I'll start driving again in the morning. And then so all of a sudden you wake up, you get back to driving, you're on your way to California, you're moving through Arizona, and then all of a sudden you see – uh, an area of road that was completely shut down at the time that you would have been driving through Arizona. But see, there's no way you would have known that if you wouldn't have asked your soul. So it's those kind of things that come into play that are super, super valuable, right? They're really valuable that you have to pay attention to. And like I said, a lot of times it won't be as logical as you think, but you have to listen to it. And you, you'll know when you're doing the right thing because, one, you'll feel like you're being pulled in a certain direction. And, two, it'll be a light energy. It'll be a, a safe, secure type energy that's um, moving you towards a certain direction. But it's like these are the most important things. I remember, you know, being an actor where I had auditioned for this film and everything went great. Everything went fantastic. And it got up all the way to the point where I was offered an opportunity to do this, to do that, that, that movie. And I asked my soul if it was in my highest good. And my soul said it absolutely wasn't in my highest good to do it. And so I sat there and I thought about it. And I'm like, man, well, everything seemed like it went well. Like, what's really going on here? And so I took a step back and I realized, you know what? My soul must see something that is not 
in my best interest. So it's stopping me from proceeding. Now, one or two things can happen. You either take heed to it, you don't do it, you live in peace, you continue to progress. Or you ignore it, you do it, and you wind up having one of the worst times of your life, or you wind up in a problem that could have been avoided if you would have listened to the intuition or the, the your soul in this part, because it's all the same. But so basically, all I'm saying is with anything, for anything, whatever you're coming up, I don't want to say against, but whatever's coming into your life, always feel free to ask your soul for direction. And, and just be confident knowing that if you say in the morning, please lead me wherever my soul desires and your soul leads you up to something when you have to make a choice, best believe that it's going to give you the guidance to make the best choice, right? It's not going to lead you to the cliff and say, all right, good luck, buddy. Jump and see if you can make it down to the end. No, it's going to say, OK, either turn back around or I'm going to strap a parachute onto you and you're going to jump and then make it to the ground safely. It's not going to leave you, right? If your intention is to move in the direction that the soul is leading you, then the soul is going to provide for you everything that you need to make that thing work. And this is this is so valuable, guys. This is so valuable because this can save us from a shit ton of heartache. It can save us from making stupid mistakes, being caught up with the wrong people, being caught up in the worst circumstances and the bad jobs and every set, every single thing you think of your soul is on point envisioning once again, uh, past, present, future, seeing what is in your highest good for you to move towards. And all you have to do is just take heed, listen and act when you hear and feel the guidance guys. With that being said, thank you so much for joining me. Always, always an amazing time. We'll talk soon. Take care.